Do you want to lose weight but can't stop yourself from eating sweets and potato chips while watching Netflix? Or do you want to encourage your kids to live a junk food free life without sacrificing their appetite's happiness? If so, you're in for a very healthy treat because I am here to give you easy recipes that can be made with the ingredients found in your homes with 105 calorie ice cream. 10 diet friendly snacks that will help you lose weight. Hi there! Looking for something fun and exciting? Come and laugh with us. Welcome to Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue, where laughter is the best medicine. What? A 105 calorie ice cream? Is that even possible? Of course it's possible. Just wait and see. Make sure to watch until the very end of the video to know how. I am Mrs. Blue, your culinary mentor for the day. I have picked the best snacks I can find together with its recipes for you to enjoy in your homes. I guarantee you and your kids will love these snacks and won't even notice that these are filled with fruits and vegetables. So, less tantrums for mommy and daddy and a happy tummy for baby. Popping out to start our list. Peanut butter pudding pops. That sounded like a tongue twister, but yes. We're opening our list with this mouth-watering popsicle that comes from Chocolate Covered Katie and only has 130 calories. This recipe has a yield of six to eight popsicles and you'll need the following ingredients. One cup of any milk of your choice. One third cup of peanut butter. But if someone's allergic in the family, you can substitute it with something allergy friendly. One and a half ripe bananas. But if you don't want to add that to your treat, you can switch it to half a cup of coconut butter or just add an additional portion of peanut butter. A scant 1 8 teaspoon of salt. Sweetener to taste like maple syrup, sugar, or stevia. And finally, chocolate coating, which we'll be making from scratch too. Now the ingredients are ready. Let's proceed to the process of making this delightful snack. In a bowl, put all of the ingredients together and mix until it completely smoothens. You want to make sure that the liquid will taste a little sweeter because once frozen, its sweetness will be reduced. And we don't want to make our popsicle bland now, do we? You can always adjust the sweetness depending on your taste, ripeness of the banana, and the milk you have chosen. If you're already happy with how your liquid popsicle tastes, it's time to grab your adorable molds and fill it up. Then leave it inside the freezer for a couple of hours until it's completely frozen. While waiting, you can already make your chocolate coating that will add up to the appearance and deliciousness of your snack. Now for the coating. You can melt chocolate chips to form a thin sauce or you can combine the following ingredients. One tablespoon cocoa powder. One tablespoon melted coconut oil and half a tablespoon of pure maple syrup or agave. Once you have stirred all of these in a bowl, you can now check if your popsicles are ready. If so, dip the popsicles in the sauce and place it on a tray with wax paper. Then refreeze. Wait for a couple of minutes and your afternoon snack is ready to go. Did this recipe make your mouth water? Wait until you see the rest of the snacks we have for you that are even more delicious than this one. Stay with us until the very end of the video. Entering smoothly in our list. PB&J Smoothie. Are you obsessed with this famous combination ever since you were a kid? A PB&J sandwich has a standard calorie count of 350. But this smoothie only has 159. That's 191 calories less. According to Cooklight, to create the snack that is good for four people, you'll need one cup of ice, six ounces or about one and one fourth cup of hulled strawberries, six ounces or about one cup of raspberries, half a cup of plain 2% reduced fat Greek yogurt, three tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and two teaspoons of coarsely chopped unsalted dry roasted peanuts. If you don't have strawberries and raspberries in your kitchen, you can switch it up with other berries. 
if you're using frozen fruits, don't worry. Just add a couple splashes of water until you get the right consistency. Peanut butter will not only add to the smoothie's flavor and texture, but it also provides more protein and fats that are good for your heart. Once all the ingredients are ready, mix it all up using a blender and add the nuts for a little bit of presentation. Now your low-calorie PB&J smoothie is ready to satisfy your cravings. Are you enjoying this video so far? If so, go ahead and join our growing family by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell beside it to keep you updated whenever we post another video. Do you wish chocolate cupcakes contained less sugar and calories? Do you miss having a taste of this heavenly dessert after a day of stress? Today is your lucky day because next up on our list, healthy chocolate cupcakes. With this recipe from Andy Mitchell, you no longer need to stop yourself to giving in to temptation and having a bite of your favorite chocolate cupcake. Using the following ingredients, you can recreate Andy's very own dessert that only has 108.7 kilocalories for 12 servings. One cup non-fat or low-fat milk can be dairy or non-dairy. One teaspoon apple cider vinegar. 1 cup all-purpose flour or whole wheat pastry flour. 1 third cup unsweetened cocoa powder. 3 fourth a teaspoon baking soda. Half a teaspoon baking powder. 1 fourth a teaspoon salt. 3 fourth cup packed light brown sugar. Half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Get your ingredients ready because I'm about to give you the set of instructions you need to follow. So listen carefully. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside, line up a standard 12-cup muffin tin with paper lines and spray them lightly with non-stick cooking spray for our dough later. Now grab a small bowl and mix together the milk and apple cider vinegar, then set aside. In a medium-sized bowl, whisk flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Then let it rest on the side. In a large bowl, combine brown sugar, applesauce, and vanilla. Then pour in the milk and apple cider mix and stir well. After that's done, now combine the dry ingredients with the rest of the ingredients. Bake for about 18 minutes. Here's a trick. Poke the center of the cupcake using a toothpick, and if it comes out clean, it's already done. If not, let it bake for a couple minutes more. After making sure that your dessert has been fully baked, let it cool for another 10 minutes on a wire rack before removing to cool completely. Once it's done cooling, you can now top them up with light frosting and sprinkles of your choice. And you're finished! You can now enjoy your scrumptious chocolate cupcake less the calories. Bon appétit! Searching for something savory? You might want to try this one out. Adobo lime chicken tacos. Mexican and Filipino dish combined to create this magnificent snack that will bring you delight and wellness. With these ingredients, you can recreate Health's 248-calorie taco recipe good for four servings. 2 cups skinless, boneless, roasted chicken breast, shredded. 3 tablespoons chopped fresh cilantro, divided. 2 tablespoons light sour cream. 2 tablespoons fresh lime juice. 1 tablespoon chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. Half a teaspoon of minced garlic. 1 fourth teaspoon sea salt. 1 fourth teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. 1 cup packaged broccoli slaw mix 1 tablespoon seasoned rice vinegar 2 radishes sliced thin 8 taco shells and half a cup of salsa verde Toss the roasted chicken with 2 tablespoons of chopped cilantro to be followed by the proper measurements of light sour cream, fresh lime juice, chipotle chilies in adobo sauce, minced garlic, sea salt, and ground black pepper after mixing that all together, toss the slaw mix with rice vinegar, radish, and the remaining one tablespoon of cilantro. Divide the chicken and slaw evenly among the eight taco shells 
and serve with salsa along the sides. Go ahead, have a bite, and share this flavorful snack with your kids to make their tummies healthy and happy. Baking its way up to the sixth spot. Healthy Baked French Fries. This one is for the paleo lovers of this fried goodness. Using only four ingredients, you can already create this recipe by the clean eating couple. The standard fast food fries have about 312 calories, but this one only has 181 calories. How big of a difference is that? So, are you ready? Here's what you'll need. Three pounds russet potatoes, three tablespoons olive oil, one teaspoon salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. First, preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's heating, you can now cut the potatoes into fry shapes, approximately one fourth inch thick. When your potatoes are cut, place it in a Ziploc bag or large mixing bowl and add olive oil, salt, and pepper. Shake or stir them all together to get your potatoes nicely coated. Grab a Silpat baking liner or a cookie sheet and slightly grease it with oil. Then line up the potato fries to cook nicely. Bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Flip the potatoes after 25 minutes and cook the other side for another 25 minutes. If you're not satisfied with the color, you can bake them for another 10 to 15 minutes until they turn golden brown. You can also broil the fries for a couple of minutes at the end for additional crispiness. There you have it! Your very own Paleo Baked Fries, minus the extra calories. Who needs McDonald's if you can create this one at home with your partner and kids, right? It's healthy and delicious! Mmm, so crispy! Next up on our list, banana ice cream. Before I give you the recipe and ingredients, I just want to make things clear. If you say there's no ice cream that's under 200 calories aside from keto, well, you're wrong. Chocolate Katie's blog featured this wondrous homemade banana ice cream that's only 105 calories. Compared to keto, this one's more delicious and tasty, I promise! So, what do you need in order to make this dessert? This recipe only requires three ingredients, and these are two to three overripe frozen bananas. The browner, the better. Milk of your choice, this is only optional. And a pinch of salt. Peel the bananas and cut them into large chunks. Place them in an airtight bag or container, then let it sit in the freezer until it's completely frozen. Or you can freeze it as a whole to get them ready whenever you think of making banana ice cream for snacks or dessert. To make the bananas into ice cream, throw two to three frozen bananas into a blender or a food processor. Add a pinch of salt and two to four tablespoons of milk of your choice just to get the ice cream to a smoother texture. Blend for a couple of minutes until you get the soft serve texture that we're looking for. Once that's done, you can serve it immediately if you like. Or you can also transfer it to a container and freeze it for half an hour. Scoop it out with your trusty ice cream scooper and serve with a little bit of presentation. I'm 100% sure your kids will love this treat so much. They'll hug and kiss you out of pure joy. If you don't want to do so much work in the kitchen, here are some low-calorie snacks that only need minimal preparation from WebMD. Crackers with cheese for only 98 calories. Use a classic whole grain cracker with fiber that will keep you full between meals. Slice up low-fat cheese that provides protein and calcium for your muscles and bones. Microwave popcorn for only 100 calories. Find a popcorn brand that only has 100 calories in six cups. Place it in the microwave and munch into this satisfying low-calorie treat. Almonds for only 98 calories. You can fill your hunger with 14 pieces of almonds without thinking about exceeding your calorie count for the day. Aside from being diet-friendly, almonds are also rich in fiber and protein, which will make you feel full. Whole grain pretzel sticks for only 96 calories. 
If you're allergic to nuts or you just don't want them, you can always consider eating pretzels instead. Choose whole grain pretzel sticks in the market, which are cholesterol free, low in fat and sugar, and has more than three grams of fiber. You can consume a maximum of six pretzel sticks without exceeding your 100 calorie mark. Did you consider making any of these recipes? Let us know in the comments below and share your experiences in making these delightful snacks at home for the first time. Did you know banging your head against the wall can burn up to 150 calories? Feel free to click on our video, Top 11 Health Facts You Haven't Heard Of Before to learn more about bizarre calorie burning activities. That is all for today. And again, I'm Mrs. Blue, your culinary mentor for the day. Don't forget, laughter is the best medicine. Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.